This is a present from Pete. <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! I just don't want to go there. I went to the storage farm with you. Yeah, and I haven't been able to look at another tree since. I mean, what if someone sees us? What does it matter what other people think? Oh, sure, everybody's doing it. I don't know what you're going on about. No sculptures, no food. Five dollars a trailer load. Where's your stuff? What are you dumping? Uh, we're not dumping, we're uh, collecting. Yeah, do you deliver? Can you use these, Dad? No, mate. Chuck them away. Look! This set a bagpipe. Hey! Tony McTwist. Don't give up your day job, Dad! <laughs> Oh, she's armless. I thought you didn't care what people thought. Do you reckon they've seen us? I don't think so. Look at those twist turkeys. Yeah, they're old man's a nutcase. Not fit to own a lighthouse. Can't wait for them to start school, Gibbs. What are you two doing? I saw us scabbing around in the rubbish. So what? Well, you don't have to start a new school tomorrow. How embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, yum. Tasty. It's just a thing for the gribble nerve test. Twist will freak out. Oh, you're not wrong. The guy's such a wimp. Yeah. Where you going? What do you got there? Special treat for your brother. Oh, great. Terrific tip, eh? We got some great stuff. If I was you, I would stay away from this tip, mate. Especially at night. It's haunted. Yeah, by the ghost of old man Chompers. He wanders around the tip at night, searching for the twins, his dead grandchildren. He moans. And groans. For his long lost darlings, who disappeared in that pond. Old man Chompers is trapped here. Can't leave him until he finds his grandchildren. And he's short sighted. So we'll probably grab the first kids that come along, especially if they're twins. Gee, he and Linda are twins? Oh, isn't that a coincidence? Gee! Those kids really like you. They reckon they've got a special surprise for you when you start school tomorrow. Isn't that great? You be. See you tomorrow, Twist. Don't want to be late on your first day. I don't want to go at all. Skirt looks great. <laughs> you right, gorgeous? Hey, Dad! I'm ready! <laughs> I can see that. You can drop us here, Dad. It's OK, I'll take you to the school gate. No, really, Dad. It's no trouble. Dad! I don't mind. It's just not cool for your Dad to drop you at school on the first day. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, Dad! <laughs> Unless you want me to. Nah, I'll be right. See ya. Good on you. Good. That's nice. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Chris. Hi. Better come in with your Bronson. I 
Hello. You're the new boy, are you? Hi. Tony Twist. How do you do, Tony Twist? I'm <laughs> Miss James. Miss James. Yes. yes. This is Bronson, my lad. He's a new boy. Hi, Bron. I'm Miss James. You can come with me if you like. I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, keep an eye on him. He, uh, he doesn't have a mother. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Twist. Uh, Tony, call me Tony. Call me Miss James. Yes. Uh, we just moved into the lighthouse. Um, I'm a sculptor. Oh, right. I'd bang things together. You bang things together. And maybe you'd like to come up and have a look at my work sometime. Well, I've always been fond of the lighthouse. Maybe. You have? Yeah. <laughs> Linda! Pete! My other two, they want to be dropped at the gate. They're embarrassed to be seen with their dad. <laughs> yes, I can understand that. <laughs> oh, check the school bags out, Gribbs. Yeah. This is going to be great, eh? Do you know what if he passes? No, no way, Todd. Sit up. No way. Hi. No. It's the scabby twins from the tip. Pete, Pete and Ruth Pete. <laughs> this is for you, Pete. A good one nerve test. For me. You shouldn't have. You just put your hand in and save by the belt. Tony. Tony. Call me Tony. Okay. <laughs> Miss James. Yes. <clears throat> nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That is a question whether his noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing... Yes, what a travesty. Troubles. Thank you. If you're talking class again, you'll be learning Othello. Aha! The new students. So, tell me, where do you come from, darling? My name is Linda, sweetheart. <laughs> I see. A feminist. <laughs> well, you can sit with Fiona. You'll have plenty to talk about. Body language. Let's talk about body language. Here, we have a new boy. Look at the way he stands, his expression. He tries to look confident, but he can't. Now, all of you who aspire to enter the dramatic profession, you must learn how to watch, how to observe. Then you can copy. Now, we've all been new students at some time or other. Tell me, how do new students walk? Sir, sir, oh, sir. Fiona? Sir. Slowly and nervously, with their heads down. Slowly and nervously, with their heads held down. <laughs> Please, be a new boy for us. You don't mind, do you? No, sir. There's the boy, thank you. Watching, see the walk, the gait. G'day. <laughs> Scabby twins from the tip. Pete and Reepy. Oh, this is for you. It's the Gribble nerve test. Oh, for me, you really shouldn't have. Ding, 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 ding. Saved by the bell. See you at recess, twist. Let's see if you still think it's funny. Every new kid has to pass my nerve test. Anyway, chickens out get thumped every day. So I do. In here, a little something I picked up at the tip. You just put your hand in and grab it. Could be anything. A dead rat. Or a live rat. Oh, he's tensed up. He looks like he's gonna do it, Gribs. Oh, he's all the way. Oh no! He's put his hand into the pub. He says up. Fuck it's a puppy at his head. Swift for you, face. It'll be a tragedy. Oh, he's pulled out! No, what a tragedy! What a woman! What a woman! One more chance. Oh twist. no, Gribs, you don't give him a second chance. <sighs> oh well, he's tensed up much more. It's about the same as last time. He's about to put his hand in. Yes, he's putting it in. He's got some inspiration. 
separation from somewhere. He's in all the way. He's looking sweet. He's got it. He's got it. That is a me fast, you reckon, Grips? That's a me fast. Pass the test. No, <sighs> not quite. Now, you have to take the teeth back to the tip. It's a snack. In the middle of the night? It's a midnight snack. And just to prove that you've been there, you've got to bring back the rotting skull from the middle of the tip pond. Yeah. No worries. Why should you go wandering around a tip at night just to please that bully? I could flatten him any day. Oh, just what I need, a female minder. Tell Dad. Oh, great. Dad'll go to the school and everyone'll call me a dobber. But what about the ghost of old man Chompers? He might get you and take you with him. He's looking for twins. He's long lost darlings. Don't be ridiculous. But he is. Shut up, Bronson. I'll go with you, Pete. I'm coming too. No way. James, how the hell? Would never cover sugar, would you? Sure. In the kitchen. Hi. Hi. I've just come to have a look at your sculptures. You have? Uh, yeah, you invited me. Remember at the school gate when you tripped over all the bint? <laughs> yeah, come in. <laughs> well, this is the uh, this is the inside of the inside of the lighthouse. It's a round, round, and uh, yes, this is, is a piece of my work. Uh, it's, oh. it's called the Tree of Life. Yes, it's um, fascinating. Yeah, it's... Uh, are they always that expensive? No, some of them, some of them, like that one over there, is uh, it's, it's twice seven thousand more. Seven thousand. Mm. Do they sell for that? Sugar's in the kitchen. Um, no, well, yes, yeah, some of them. What's that? There's that music. I can't hear anything. Oh, I can. It's the wind. No. It's not the wind. No, it's not the wind. It's music. It's music. We have to check out that music. We should put out an album. Chompers? Rubbish. Bronson? I'm Dobby. I'm telling Dad. Judo's only allowed for self-defense. Go home, Bronson. I told you not to come. Ah. <laughs> See that? We surrender. Give yourselves up, you two. He doesn't want me. He wants twins. Go on. You've had your lives. I'm only just getting started. Well, we surrender, Mr. Horse. You can have the twins, Mr. Horse. I'm only just getting started. Fat lot of use you'd be if a real ghost showed up. You've had your chance. I'm going home. to wake the dead. I wish you hadn't said that. All right, ghost. Time to bite the dust.
old man chompers. Let's grab that skull and get out of here. Bria, 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 it's all, folks. What's that? It's a fridge. Darlings, at last, my long lost darlings. These were his long lost grandchildren. We're done for. Ooh. Run! No, 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 don't run away. Me darlings. I owe you kids a big favour for bringing back my little darlings. <laughs> Been looking for them for years. You mean your darlings are your false teeth? And not your long lost grandchildren? What, those little brats want what I want with them. No, these are my little darlings. Now I've found them, I can leave this dump. Wait. You said something about a favour? Hmm. a repeat. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. Daddy! <laughs> Daddy! It's all right, boy. We're coming. What's that? <sighs> oh, my God, Father. On behalf of us both, I'd like you to have this as a token of our appreciation. Thank you. And goodbye. Oh. Okay. He sure did. 
Watch your bitch. Come on. Daddy. Daddy. Have you ever 